Hello boys and girls, welcome back to Nani and Buck's World of Adventure. I am so glad you're back with us again today. Hey, did you go with me to Africa last week? Did you? Did you go on that pretend journey and get to see the animals there and the brown children? That was so fun, wasn't it? Well, guess what? We are going to have another adventure real soon, and we are going to be going to another farm. Would you like to do that? Except the next time, I think we're going to go by train. But I have somebody special with me here today that I want you to meet. Somebody that went on our adventure with us last week, and she was so excited, she wanted to come today to the farm to be with us. So let's welcome Gracie. Come on out, Gracie. Here she is. Oh, hi, Nani. Hi, Grace. How are you? Good. Are you enjoying the farm life? Yes, ma'am. You've been running around already, haven't you? Boys and girls, Gracie enjoyed everything so much the last time that she wanted to come out and help feed the chickens. And so she came out to our farm today to help out, didn't you, Gracie? Yes, ma'am. And Gracie, by the way, was also a very good friend of all of the brown girls. They used to play together all the time before Amaris and Autumn and Abby all went to Africa. And so she misses her friends too, don't you? So wouldn't you love to have a goat one day or some chickens? Wouldn't that be great? I'm so, I think that would be so much fun. So at any rate, I'm glad Gracie's with us today. And, um, and I'll tell you what, wait, no! Sarah, what on earth? I want to go. You want to go? You want to go where? I want to go on a trip. I, well, I'm planning for us to go on a trip. I want us to go on a trip too. I wanted to go to Africa. Oh, you wanted to go to Africa? I know. I could only take Miss Penelope this last time, but I promise you that you and and uh, and Simon can go with me on the next trip that we go on. Wouldn't you like that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, there you are, Simon. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Well, I tell you what. I think it would be so much fun for you guys to get to go and see a real life farm too. Wouldn't you like that? Oh, yeah. I I think that would be really great. Matter of fact, maybe Gracie can go with us the next time too. What do you think about that, Gracie? Would you like to go on a train adventure? Yes, 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 yes. I want to go, I want to go, I want to go. Yeah. Well, hello, boys and girls. I'm so excited you're all here today. I, I'm the conductor for the, for this farm adventure outfit. It's time for me to get your tickets. So, so tickets, please. Tickets. Get your tickets out. Tickets. Come on. What tickets, Buck? What, what are you doing? Can I help you with something? Uh, yes, sir. I'm collecting tickets. I'm very busy. Can't you see that? So be a good teacher. Help me check all these kids uh, going on the next adventure and make sure they got tickets. Simon, Sarah, do you a have ticket? a ticket? A ticket for what? Oh, uh, for what, Buck? Hey, you over there. Hey, you. You. Do you, you have a ticket? Yeah. Yeah, where's your ticket? Don't you have a ticket? A ticket. Uh, what do you What do you mean? You don't have a ticket. What What do you mean? Everyone's got to have a ticket. That's the rule. Got to obey the rules. Hey, very important to obey the rules. You You got to have a ticket. Okay. Search your pockets right now. Uh, maybe you put it somewhere. Forgot about it. Uh, I I do that sometimes. My new medication is really helping now, though. When I remember <laughs> to take it. <laughs> uh, so, uh, did you find your ticket? Did you find? No. Uh, no ticket? But, oh, it's terrible. But, what? but Simon and Sarah and Gracie aren't going to have any tickets. They don't need tickets. Well, if you don't have a ticket, I'll have to write you a ticket. Uh, there's quite a penalty, you know, not having a ticket with you. That's terrible. Hold on. Uh, well, I'm going to go get my ticket book. Uh, I'm going to get my ticket book. It doesn't make any sense at all. Why do we Now, where did I put my ticket? Aha. Uh -huh. uh, now, uh, let's see. The Today, day, June 24th. Uh, the infringement occurred. Uh, let me see it. Calvary Baptist Church. The nature of an incident is not having a ticket. Right? All done. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. There's your ticket. There's, see there? Your ticket. Ticket for not having a ticket. That's what it is. Ticket for not having a ticket. Right now, I can assume that everyone else got a ticket, though. Uh, uh, has a ticket then, huh? Buck, Buck, we don't need 
tickets for a pretend journey. But you gotta have a ticket. That's the rules. Everybody's gotta have a ticket. No, 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 Buck. No, we don't. We listen. Why would you want to give? Why do people have to have tickets? Why would you want them to have one anyway? I don't. I well, don't to go on the train ride you were talking about. You said the next farm trip we're gonna go by a train ride. Well, yeah, we're gonna go on a train ride, but but Buck. But, but why would somebody have to have a ticket to go on that train ride? I mean, it's a pretend journey, Buck. I mean, why would we have to have, have a, uh, you know? I we mean, can't just let anybody on the train. We gotta, well, everybody's gotta have a ticket. And if they don't have one, then they can't go. But that's not the kind of train ride we want to take. Uh, we're going on a pretend journey, and when we go on a pretend journey, Buck, we want every boy and girl to be able to go. Oh, come on now. All hey, of hey, them. if they don't have a ticket, I'll sell them one cheap. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sell them one cheap, yeah. <laughs> no, Buck. No, we don't want that at all. That's the reason Simon and Sarah and Gracie don't have tickets right now, it's because they don't need tickets to go on a pretend journey. We want them all to go, everybody to go, so nobody needs tickets for that. Yeah. Nobody needs a ticket to get in here and ride the train? No, 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 no. No? No one needs them, no. No. Surely everyone would love to have a ticket put in their pocket. <laughs> I don't think anybody needs a ticket to put in their pocket, Buck. So, no, no, well, no. Well, let me know if you change your mind. I, I love collecting tickets. I want to be the conductor. Yeah. I want to be the conductor, you know. <laughs> Yeah. I can so tell that. I sure can. Oh, my goodness. Well, well, I, I, I'll see you later then. Uh, but I, I, well, I'll see you later. Oh. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. I think. Wait, wait. But don't, don't go anywhere. Oh. I, I just had a thought about something. I just had a thought. But I think maybe, um, oh, you you needed to go, didn't you, Gracie? I think they've got to go feed the chickens now. So, is that what, yeah, you need to go? So, all righty, will you see, I'll see you later, okay? You want to tell the boys and girls bye-bye? All right, I'm glad you got to meet Grace. Better get Donnie. a ticket next time. <laughs> Donnie, yes. may Simon and uh, Sarah come? Oh, sure, you and, you and Simon and Sarah want to go and help you feed the chickens? Oh, yeah! Yeah, I'll go. All right, they'll come with you. All righty, I'll let them go, and they'll come around and meet you, okay, to feed the ch at the chicken coop, and they'll meet you there. All right, so you guys be good, and go help her, okay? All right. Buck, you hang out. I want to talk to you, okay? okay? All right. Listen, I just had a thought. Since you want to be our conductor on our next train trip, and I think you should, I'd like to have you as a conductor. I think that would be a lot of fun. But how about we just do pretend tickets? What do you think? Well, that'd be great. I, I'd like to be a conductor, and I guess that's okay. Well, I think that sounds like a good idea. That will be a winner. Then you can still be the conductor, but you can have pretend tickets. Uh, uh Nani? Yeah. Uh, well, well, I got another question. Sure, Buck. What's up? When you and Miss Penelope were going to Africa, you mentioned something about the Brown family telling people in Ghana uh, about Jesus and how they can go to heaven. Yeah, absolutely. That's what we do. We want everybody to know how they can know for sure they're going to heaven. Yeah. Well, well maybe you could help me with something. What, Buck? What can I help you with? What do you need? Well, well you see, I got a lot of tickets. I can see that. I'd like you to take a look at them for me. I want to see whether any of them will take me to heaven. I want to go there too. I'll go. Get them one at a time. You have to look at them and tell me whether they'll help me make the trip, okay? I'm going to go. Right now, I'm going to go. But All back, right. Back. Buck doesn't need a ticket to go to heaven. Where's your ticket? Here, here, here it is, Donnie. Oh, I see, I see. Oh, my goodness. Um, a train ticket. Look at there. Buck has a train ticket right here. Yeah, I see yeah. It. I heard God hears our train of thought. <laughs> uh, get it? Train of thought. So <laughs> I got it. So I, I got a very special railway ticket here. Uh, can I use this one to get to heaven? No, Buck. This will not take you to heaven. No, no, no. A train ticket's not going to take you to heaven, Buck. I'm sorry. Well, well wait a minute. I, I thought that one might not work. Wait a minute. You just hold, hold on to that one. Uh, let me go look for another. Let All me right. go look. 
Okay. I'll okay. hold on to it. But hey, how about this one, Donnie? Okay, let's see. What is this one? This is a taxi ticket. Okay, it's for a taxi ride. Huh? Yeah. Uh, uh, I heard people saying God is uh, God is, is the ride of your life. Uh, so uh, it's a taxi ticket. How, how about that one? Will that one work? Oh, no, it. Buck. I'm afraid not. No, a taxi ticket is not gonna take you to heaven. No, it's not. What? But listen, Buck. I honestly, I, I'm. I think you ought to hear what I have to tell well, you. Well, you, wait a minute, no, wait a minute. I got another ticket. I got another ticket. Maybe I, I got a better one. I thought that one might not work, but I got a better one. All you, right. Hey, are okay. you waiting? I'm hey, waiting. Are you, I'm waiting. Hey, wait okay, a minute. Okay, are, okay, are you okay, waiting? I you. Yes. Okay, I'm I'll wait. I hear. A, I got another ticket. Hey. All right. Who? Hey, how about that one? Oh, let me see what this one is. Oh, this is an airplane ticket. An That's my best shot. Oh, is it really? Yeah, Ooh. I read. I read somewhere where Jesus ascended into the clouds, so he bought it. So I bought an airplane ticket. Uh, that way, I can fly into the clouds. Hopefully, the pilot will be able to land on heaven's runway. Uh, I just, <laughs> I, I'm just trusting uh, everything's in order this time. I, that's the that's a good one, huh? Oh no, Buck! I'm, what? I'm afraid that this airplane ticket will not take you to heaven. I'm afraid it won't. Nope, nope, won't work. What? It won't work. Nope. Come on! I thought sure the pilot get me to heaven on a plane. So you want to fly to heaven? Yeah. And you think the pilot's going to get you there? Well, I was hoping so. <laughs> I'm afraid not, Buck. The pilot can't take you to heaven, and your ticket can't take you to heaven. I, it's just not the way you get to go on a trip to heaven. You telling me I can't use a train ticket, a taxi ticket, a plane ticket to get to heaven? Unfortunately, no, you can't. It's not going to work. I'm sorry. I'm well, sorry to have to tell you that, but nope. Well, hey, hey, what ticket do I need? Buck, all you need is to say a prayer. A prayer? Yeah. All you have to do is pray. A prayer. You don't need a ticket. You just need to ask for something very But no, you need a ticket for everything. I know in this life and on this earth, you know, sometimes we need tickets for different stuff. I, I get it. But, Buck, to go to heaven, you don't need a ticket. Not at all. Can you explain that to me, Nan? Well, yeah, I can explain it to you, Buck. It's like this. And I'll explain it to the boys and girls, too, boys and girls. Um, you see, when, when Jesus left his home in heaven and he came down to earth, he never did anything wrong, ever. He never sinned. But you and I... We're sinners, and sinners means that we've all done bad things sometimes in our life. I mean, I know I have. When I was a little girl, I got a spanking one time, probably more than one time. One time I was told not to climb a tree, and I climbed to that tree, and I had a, a, a lady was watching me, and I had disobeyed her several times, and she got a switch out of that tree and switched my legs all the way down out of that tree. That might sound oh, terrible to some people, but I didn't disobey her again, and that's a truth. I thought that was the last time, but she told me not to climb that tree. I didn't climb it anymore. I didn't, I didn't want anything bad to happen, but we all do bad things sometimes. We might have taken a piece of candy that didn't belong to us, or we might have told a, a lie, or we might have done something wrong. We're all done bad things, but guess what? Jesus never, ever did anything wrong, never anything. And you see, he loved us so much, though, that he left his home in heaven. He's God. Jesus is God. And he left his home to heaven, and he came down to earth, Buck. And he died on a cruel, cruel cross for our sins. He didn't have, he didn't deserve to die. He didn't do anything wrong. But he, you see, if I do wrong and I have to pay for my sin, I can't go to heaven. You can't go to heaven. If we have to pay for our own sins, we have to go and live in the bad place with the devil. I don't know about you, but I don't want to go there 
No way, Jose. No Well, way. Jesus loved us so much, he didn't want us to go there too. So he left his home in heaven, and he came down to earth, and he died on a cruel cross and shed his blood for our sins. He paid for what you and I owe. He paid what we owed. We owed wow. a debt, and he paid it for us he, to keep us from having to go live in that bad place with the devil. He made a way for us, Buck, to be able to live in heaven forever and forever and forever with him. And boys and girls, heaven is a beautiful place. It's way above the clouds. It's way above. It, there's golden streets and gates of pearl, and the sun shines all the time. Oh my goodness, Buck, heaven is a beautiful place. When I die, I sure would like to think that that's where I was going and not going to the other place. What do you think? Yeah, that's I right. think so. So here, here's the thing, okay? In order to go to heaven, all right, basically what we have to do is realize that Jesus took our punishment for our sins and died in our place. And that he's offering us a free gift, a free ticket, if you please. It's free you, in order, because he's already paid for it. All we have to do is we realize that we're sinners, that we've done things wrong, that we're sorry for our sins. Buck, are yep. you sorry? Yeah, I am. I, I am. I, I, I'm sorry. I know I'm sorry. I don't want to do bad things. I don't mm -hmm. want to do wrong. I don't. And I really am sorry for my sins. I don't want to do Me bad things. Me too. Well, the truth is, when you know you're a sinner and you realize that you do bad things and you realize that, that if you had to pay for your own sin, you'd have to go and live with the devil. <sighs> I don't want to do that, okay? And Jesus died in your place and rose from the grave so that you could have a free gift to be able to go to heaven. All you have to do is believe in him. You just have to believe that he died for you, rose again, paid the price for your sins, and trust him and believe in him. Trust him as your savior. Trust him to take you to heaven one day when you die. And but that's all you have to do. That's why I said all you have to do to get to go on that trip is to pray. You just need to pray. Believe Jesus died for you, that he rose from a grave. Tell him that you know you're a sinner and that, that, that you can't pay for it yourself that you don't want to live with the devil, basically, and you want to trust him to take you to heaven one day when you die. Would you like to do that, Buck? Sure would. Oh, I think that's a really great thing to do. Um, I wonder how many of you boys and girls might like that too. Would you like that? Buck, if I were to lead us in a word of prayer and help you pray, I'm not going to say the words for you. I'm just going to help you along, okay? Okay. You'd be willing to ask Jesus in your heart and save you and take you to heaven when you die? I sure want to. I will. All righty. Then you know what? I think that's what we need to do. And boys and girls, maybe there's some of you out there. You would like to know for sure that you have a home in heaven one day so that when you die, you know that you already have a free ticket there. Not anything you have to work for or pay for. It's already done because Jesus bought it for you. All you have to do is pray. All you have to do is tell him that you know you're a sinner and you don't deserve it and ask him to come into your heart and save you and take you to heaven when you die. I'm going to lead Buck in a word of prayer. If you want to pray along with Buck, you can pray with us right now, okay? All you have to do is bow your head and close your eyes. All right, Buck, say, Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus, I know I'm a sinner. I know I'm a sinner. Please forgive me for my sins. Please forgive me for my sin. And I'm trusting you, Jesus. I'm trusting you, Jesus. And that you died on the cross for me. And that you died on the cross for me. And took my sins so that I didn't have to live with the devil ever. And took my sins so I didn't have to live with the devil forever. And I accept your gift of eternal life. I accept your gift of eternal life, Jesus. So that I can go to heaven one day. So I can go to heaven one day. And be with you forever. And be with you forever. I trust you, Jesus. I trust you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. You see how simple that was? Wasn't that amazing? Yay! Wow, Nani. I asked Jesus to save me and take me to heaven when I yes, die. Yes, you did, but... That's your ticket to heaven. That's all it is. It's just...
praying, boys and girls. It's knowing in your heart. It's not saying words that saves you. It's what you really mean. Did you mean that with all your heart, Buck? Sure did. It, it, and that means I know I'm going to heaven 100%. Absolutely, 100%. <clears throat> and, and look, if, something, if you were to do something wrong tomorrow or the next day or 10 years from now, God still, he has that ticket for you. You don't ever have to ask for that again. Never again. It's yours. And it'll always be there waiting on you. Okay? He washed away all my sin forever. He did. Forever and forever and forever. Boy, I, I'm excited, Nani. I don't have to have a ticket no more. Nope, nope, you don't. It's already paid no for. No ticket at all. Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. Uh, I, I know. I get to go to heaven because of Jesus. That's right. You get to go to heaven because of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. That's the sweetest name I know. It's only by his name and none well, other. Well, Nani, I, I'm excited. I, I got I to gotta leave. I got to go tell somebody else about Jesus. Oh, okay. That sounds good to me, Buck. Hey, uh, bye, Nani. Uh, I, I got to hurry. I, I'm going to go talk to somebody else. All right, all right, Buck. We'll see you later. I think that's wonderful. I am so proud of Buckaroo that he asked Jesus to come into his heart. I wonder how many of you boys and girls might have already have asked Jesus to come into your heart, or if you haven't already asked Jesus to come into your heart, then maybe you will do that too, okay? Because there's no greater joy than to know that one day you have a, a, a free passage to heaven because Jesus paid the price for it and you don't ever have to worry about that ever again. You know, what a great thing that Jesus did for us. I think that's pretty special. Which leads me to the verse that I wanted to teach you all today, okay? Matter of fact, I I'm going to see if we can get our board up here because there's a really special verse in the Bible that I want you to know, okay? And I hear it comes right now. Here we are. There we go, okay? There we are. I wonder if you, Mike, could read. If you can read, I wonder if you, Mike, could read along with me to see what this verse says. It's from the Bible. It's from Romans chapter 6, verse 23. Let's see if we can do it together. It says, For... The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. I want to tell you something. The Bible is true. God's word is true. And Jesus is God's son. And he loves you. And that's all true. And you understand that this word here, that word wages, that's a payment for something. If I go out and I work a job, or like if, I, if Gracie comes and she fed the chickens today and that was her job and I gave her some money for doing that, then she would have earned a wage. That means she would have earned some money for doing work. Okay, wages is something that we can earn and it's something we have to. So, if, But the wages of sin, if I have to pay for something, then I have to also take my money that I've earned and I have to pay for what I owe. Okay, so the word wages means it's the money that I get. So the wages, but the wa wages or payment of sin, if I have to pay for sin, that's death. And that's being separated from God forever and forever and forever. That's living with the devil. Ooh, we don't want to go there, do we? The wages of sin is death. Well, I'm a sinner. I have been and so are you. And so, but that's the reason Jesus left his home in heaven. And now, but the gift of God, that's in red. See that word gift? It's a gift. It's free. When Simon had his birthday party, he got a present, didn't he? Did he have to pay for the present that he got? No. That was what his friends wanted to give him, right? Well, God wants to give you and me a gift too. And the gift of God, it's a present. It's a gift. It's free. That gift is pretty special. That gift is eternal life, living forever and forever and forever in a place called heaven with Jesus. It's beautiful. It says the eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. That's a very special name, boys and girls. Don't ever use God's name in a wrong way or a bad way. We don't ever want to use Jesus' name as a bad word, okay? Never, never, never. Sometimes people do that, but God loves you, and Jesus is God's son, 
and we need to always talk about Jesus respectfully. Never use his name as a bad word, okay? But Jesus Christ is our Lord. He's our Lord. So when you ask Jesus to come into your heart, he comes to live inside your heart, and he's there forever and forever. So he is not only your heavenly father, he's your best friend. He'll walk with you and talk with you and go with you wherever you are. You'll never, ever be without him. What a wonderful thing that is. So see that verse? What a special verse. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift, the gift of God. What a present we get to have. Thank you for the board. I appreciate getting to use that board and uh, for the verses that we get to learn about here at the farm. Well, I tell you what. I wonder if Simon and Sarah are done feeding the chickens. I wonder if they're out there yet. Are they there? Simon, Sarah, are you done feeding the chickens? It's time to say goodbye to the boys and girls. Can you come on back out? I hear. Oh, there you are, Sarah. You're all done feeding the chickens? Yes, yeah. Okay. I'm so glad. And so here we are. Where's Simon? Is he coming too? He's gone. Okay, he's coming. Simon? Where are you? Simon, hurry. The boys and girls are anxious, okay? I'm here. Oh, there you are, Simon. I think we're going to really be looking forward to next week, aren't we? Especially when we get to take a tri train ride, aren't we? I'm so excited. Oh, I am too, Sarah. I'm really excited. And so I think uh, we're going to have a good time. Maybe when you come next week, you can wear your train hats. What do you think? We're going to be right here at Imagination Station. <laughs> where our imagination is going to take us on another fun adventure. Won't that be great? Oh, yeah. I'm so excited. I am too. All right, boys and girls. So it's time for us to say goodbye right now, but we will see you next week on another adventure on the farm, okay? That's what we are going to do. And so, hey. oh, hey, Buck. If they're going to go, better bring a ticket. Uh, <laughs> but don't you need to catch a bus or something? <laughs> oh, yeah. But don't have a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just teasing him. Oh, my goodness. But, Buck, next week, we will go on that train adventure, and you will be our conductor. Doesn't that sound like a lot of fun? Yeah. Yeah, I whoa, think it does. Whoa, whoa, gonna... whoa, it sure does. All right, boys and girls, so I hope you'll be ready, and I'll see you next week. Goodbye from Nani and Buck's World of Adventure. Bye! Bye! Bye!